<laughs> All right, guys, it's 5.10 in the afternoon on Scott and BR on the Mighty 1090, and Xavier Thames is on the line and ready to talk about what's going on with the San Diego State basketball team as they get ready to go to Philadelphia to take on Oklahoma. X, welcome back to the show. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys? Uh, we're just as good, or so we think. Mm-hmm. We think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said I'm good. I'm good. I mean, you're doubly good. We're good. Yeah, I'm we're double good. good. I'm double good. Yeah. yeah. For these All right. Well, tell us what's what's going on. We talked to Coach Fisher yesterday. Uh, what's what's the preparations like? Uh, you know, just being yeah, mentally prepared for Oklahoma. They got a real solid team. They got a good big man. So we just uh, really focus on them. Just practicing real hard these last few days. And now I'm just getting ready to head off to Philly. Going down the vac- the uh, facility. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think you may have said you're getting ready to go to Philly. Philly. Yeah, Philly. Yeah, facility. Philly. <laughs> yeah. Damn the ears. It's, 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 it, it might be your glasses. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, no I it, need my glasses. Oh, okay, all right. So <laughs> terrible eyesight. I mean, X Philly can sound like facility, you know. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little yeah. bit. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's, no, it's, it's my it's, bad. It's, it's our bad. We're older it's and our totally. ears don't work as well. No, they don't it's, work at all. It's somehow. not you, you listen, you speak brilliantly <laughs> yes, and we do. just don't hear brilliantly. Exactly. It's, it's on it's on That's us. Exactly right. All right, so San Diego State point guard X Thames is with us on the Mighty Ten Ninety. So listen, what happens? Kind of take us through you guys lost this past weekend uh to New Mexico on Friday night. Uh-huh. And, and and you come back and you just kind of take us through the last couple of days. I mean, does it take time to digest the loss, or was it was it one of those deals where you're like, okay, forget it, it doesn't matter, let it go, let's get our rest, and then we'll get ready? How does that work? Uh, now we were pretty all upset after uh, the Mexico game. We felt like we had a chance to win. We just got in the, we dug ourselves in a deep hole, being down twenty or so. But we were all mad after that game, probably until Sunday, until the selection so selection show which we all just forgot about and just moved on and just got ready for Oklahoma. But we were all pretty mad about the uh, New Mexico game. We wanted, to, we wanted to get to the championship game and see what happens from there. So, But we moved on from that and we just get ready for Oklahoma. What was your What was your message from, from Coach Fisher? What did, what did he have to say to you after that game? Uh, he just said he's got to he's gotta compete harder, you know, be mentally uh, focused and not dig ourselves in the deep hole like we did. And you got to do that come uh, into the tournament time. I think we'll be prepared now not to dig ourselves in the uh, deep hole. Yeah, I mean, digging digging yourself in a hole is rough, and we, we've seen you guys battle back. But but the shooting percentages have been so poor over the last couple of weeks that it, it's hard to, to climb back into a game when you're down, when when you just can't hit threes. And then when you're really down and everybody just starts bombing away and it's just like, okay, this isn't going our way. What what do you guys do in practice to get these shots to finally drop? Uh, we just we just practice each and every day on our shooting. You know, Coach, we spend about 20 or 30 minutes on our shooting. So we just do that each and every day. We just got to get to the basketball, get to the free throw line, just stop people running. That's what we got to do. Do you have a, a personal way to, to break out of a slump if, if you happen to be, you know, Having a hard time getting the ball in the rim. Uh, for me, I just we just gotta go to the basket, like I said. And if I want to get out of slump, I just attack the basket, try to get some, try to get to the free throw line, get an easy shot, get a little free throws in. But that's what we just gotta do to get out of slumps like that. Just attack the basket and get good open shots. If we get open shots, I'm pretty sure most of us uh, are knock those down. All right, X Thames from the San Diego State basketball team is with us. Uh, okay, let me ask you this: Have you filled out a bracket? No, I have not. <laughs> I, I, I haven't looked at any brackets. I'm just worried about Oklahoma. All right, you have not looked at brackets. No, nah, I know. I know. Uh, you know, he plays uh, Cal. I know Boise plays tomorrow in a playing game, and I don't know who New Mexico plays. But I just, I'm just worried about us right now. I'm not really focused on mm-hmm. any other teams. All right, New Mexico plays Harvard. Okay, Harvard. Okay, right. yeah. and so so you so you're sort of in touch with what the conference schools are doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit. You know, you want, you want to see our conference. You, you kind of do sort of get not as good as that stuff. Right. <laughs> well, that, well that's, that, let me ask you about that. I mean, do you feel besides the San Diego State pride and we want to win, send a, a Chase Tapley and a James Rahon to Sean Stevens, we want to send those guys out strong, and who knows what's going to be with Jamal Franklin. Um, or, or do you also have – conference pride like it's time for the mountain west to finally get the respect that it's supposed to statistically have earned 
Is there some of that going into this tournament? Uh, well, we, like I said, we just focus on ourselves as well. But you know, we want, like I said, we want the other teams in our conference to do well as, uh, as well. So we kind of we kind of worry about ourselves, and then like when the game is over or something like that, we want to see like what Boise does, New Mexico does, because we want to we want to show everybody that our conference is uh, legit this year. It wasn't just a you know sweep. That our conference is really tough, like the Big Ten, SEC, Big East, and teams like that. So that's what that's what we um we to do. How much how much tape have you guys seen on the Sooners? Man, a whole lot. We've been mm-hmm. well on Sunday we uh, took a uh, tape home, me and Jamal watched the tape and then Monday we had watched about thirty minutes and then today we watched about thirty minutes before and after practice. So we just been watching live film and uh practicing on the court, that's what we've been doing lately. Have you looked into Florida Gulf Coast University X? <laughs> No, nah, I have not. I have not. But I did see uh, when their name was called, they were um, pretty excited. They were pretty excited. So that's good for them, good for their program and their university. Well, do you know why I'm asking about them? No, nah, I do not know. <laughs> the reason is because they play Georgetown. Yo, yeah, I do know they say Georgetown. Okay, so there are 15 taking on Georgetown who's a two. And mm-hmm. let's just jump into it for a second. Let's say you guys beat Oklahoma. Well, then you're going to have to take these guys on in the next round. And we're kind of hoping that Florida. We just talked to their coach. He's pretty confident. I think Florida Gulf Coast might beat Georgetown. Uh, <laughs> I heard it uh, pretty decent. You know, Winston told me uh, Florida Gulf Coast is uh, pretty good. I never seen him play before, but we'll see. Whatever happens, happens. We just got to focus on Oklahoma and then take care of the next game if we win. All right. Before you go, give us the schedule. How does how do things go from here? What's the rest of the week? Uh, well, tomorrow we got practice in the morning. And then we're going to take off to Philadelphia for a long flight, about, I think, four or five hours. And then we'll probably get there, uh, relax a little bit, eat, um, watch some more film. And then Thursday we'll probably practice, uh, watch film again, eat. And then Friday watch film and eat, and then time for tip-off. A lot of eating, a lot of film there. X. A lot of film, a lot yeah. of heat, a lot of kind of relaxing <laughs> and practice. Gotcha. <laughs> film, kind of, yeah, practice, yeah. eat. Right. Yeah, we're kind of used to it now. We've, we've been doing it for about 30 some games, and I've been doing it for three years. So we, we're kind of used to it, all of us. Gotcha. You guys got a direct flight to Philly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we do. Well, I mean, Bill Ray. Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Seriously, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't know how many dir- last, uh, last few years. <laughs> nah, direct flight. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many direct flights there are from San Diego to Philadelphia. And it's not a charter, right? Uh, I think, yeah, I think we're taking the charter with uh, bands and uh, cheerleaders and different things like that. So Ah, oh, that changes uh. everything. <laughs> no, it does. It makes it a lot more comfortable. Plus, you know, like yeah. when the when the flight attendant walks by with, like, box lunches, you can, you know, sneak a couple extra ones, you know? Yeah, a little, you might be able to sneak a little extra in there, you know, eat after you get off the plane. See, I know right. how it goes. I know. <laughs> and then you go to sleep again. Right, because yeah, then you watch more exactly. film. Right, eat, <laughs> sleep, and watch film on your iPad. That's exactly the yeah, way it goes. We watch, we might, uh, watch the film on a uh, MacBook on a plane. That's it. <laughs> X, we wish you the best of luck, and we hope that next week we're having a conversation about the Sweet 16. Go yeah. get them this week. I will. Thank you guys for having me. All right, pleasure, always. Thank you. Something happened in this Kentucky-Robert Morris game while we were talking to X Thames.